Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you're well. So I've turned on all of my layers here and you can see that I've got my background layer here flashing with my sort of outline layer, sorry. What I'm going to do is move this to the very top like that. And what I'm going to do is also grab this background layer now and bring this all the way to the top as well. I need to unlock this. So I think you double click it and it unlocks the lock there. And it allows you to be able to bring that backwards and forwards. So what I'm going to do now is bring that all the way to near the top just so that my back just so that you can see there is my um, outline just peeking through so you can move these around and you can see my outline peeking through like that the trick now is to go and get the brush tool and we're going to get a rather large brush and use the color picker which is this color picker tool here you don't want something that is really dark so I've got sort of lighter skin up here that's not really my skin tone here so I want something that's in the middle so I'm going to use my forehead here as the middle tone and I might go and use that somewhere between the light there because I'm not terribly dark but then I'm not terribly light either I'm going to go and make a new layer because I don't want to paint in here I want to paint this so we need to make a new layer that's just going to go above my pictures now so I can bring this into here. These, these can move around, it's fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my paintbrush and I'm just going to paint inside here. So I've got my lines to guide me and because they're on another layer they are not going to interfere with my colouring in because they're on a different layer. So now I've got a layer for every single thing in my picture. I just need to do some finishing touches and then maybe a background as well because I, what I would like to do is do something that is very Julian Opie-ish and that is put my face and neck of course, you can do your neck because it would look a bit strange if your neck wasn't attached to your head. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to go and paint over my ears too let's bring that over. Now the trick here is that I can bring the softness of my brush right down and make it a very very hard brush and bring that into my ear like so. Now I made a mistake there. I'm going to go and bring my brush down as well a little bit further. Like so make sure you can, I can see where my mouse is actually going here there we go I think I made a big mistake there because I touched the side of my now you're probably looking and wondering why the back why that background layer is disappearing it's because the face that I'm colouring in now is on the top layer. So when I bring the background layer on top of on top of each other now, that will come back. So now what I can do is start to bring my layers all up on top of each other, and they should start to show my face coming through. Now if they're all in the right order, or at least they're see-through. I can bring this all the way down now and the rest of the, the lines and, and that should show through. Like so. Looking quite grumpy. I probably need to change that because I'm not so grumpy. So, you can tidy this up. You can start to have a go yourselves. Um, I'm still in my colour layer here um, and I will probably need to... There we go. That will do me. You can have a go yourselves. Your last job would be probably to colour all of this in. You can make a new layer in here and then you can use 
the brush tool with a very bright uh, color, a giant brush. And if my layers allow me to do this, I should be able to go and put this layer down at the bottom, like so. And as I color it in, I'm left with my face, like that. Right, your turn. Good luck.